y'all it's hope at crafty hope and i have done something i don't usually do which is pull out the components i wanted to use for a journal page and this i've got some distress stains i've got a ton of these i never use them and i was like baby i am gonna break these out and see what i can do with them and also if you'll see over on the right i've got a picture there of it's a group of boys being really silly um i don't know where i got it it was i think in a yard sale or something and so i tried to make this page a little more masculine so you'll see i'm starting with a brown and a green and those feel a little more mas masculine than some of the pinks and yellows I use from time to time. So, and then I've got some different ephemera. This per first one is, it's a bunch of numbers. Um, It's, I don't even know, it's a book of like, I don't, it's like a trigonometry type book with um, like cosines and stuff in it. I'm not even sure. And then I've got this little green receipt and I think I've also got a, um, a piece of paper from like bridge that they use for bridge I don't even know how that works I've never pr played bridge I know nothing about bridge but I found this at the thrift store and was like hey paper I can glue that onto something <laughs> so um I threw that in there because the lines on it are green and they kind of went with the little green receipt and the the green distress stains that I've I've put down there and I'm using my trusty Uhu glue stick and my um what is that? That's like a gift card type thing to help smooth it all out. So once I get all that down, um, I decide I want to add a little texture with some stamps. So I've got a stamp with some dots on it that I'm putting down with just a black stamp pad. And then I am looking for a brown distress um, oxide. I think that's like walnut stain because I'm doing some wood in there. It's like a background stamp that looks like wood. And I thought that was kind of masculine and all of that. So I put that brown down to go with the brown that's already down there. And then I grab a green paint. Now I think this is Margarita. It's one of my favorite colors. And I'm going to use a combination of a paintbrush and my finger to put these colors down. I've got a, a little bit of a yellow just to kind of brighten it up. I mean, despite this being masculine, I still want it to feel me. So I want it I want it kind of bright and happy too. <laughs> so I put that yellow and then I've got a midnight blue. Now I really like this blue. I don't know why it's called midnight blue because it's it's really not as dark as you think it would be. So and again like I said I'm using a little bit of my finger, <laughs> a little bit of the paintbrush and I'll use that paintbrush and get it wet here in a little bit and give it more of a watercolory feel to it. Um, I'm having a hard time getting that blue everywhere I want it, but the I, I'm really loving how the addition of water to it kind of bleeds it out some. Before I go and put anything else down, I decide to um, to take a, um, what is that, an oil pastel and just add some little like plus signs um, in different places. And it's about the same color as that midnight blue. I can't remember what this, that color of of oil pastel is called but like I said it's kind of like that midnight blue and to add to the mark making I am taking my um oh my sharpie paint pen in white and adding these little dots it's three little dots kind of the same thing over and over again all over the place and I tore the top of that picture because there was a lot of white space at the top of it and it just seemed too much white for for this page so I went ahead and tore the top of it and I really like the the torn edge anyway on there and so I stuck when I had stuck that picture down and then I'm going to add some more blue just to kind of carry that through a little bit more. And I'm watering it down quite a bit uh, to, as I add it. So you'll see I'll, I'll dip my brush and then add it. And I'm just kind of smearing and getting that blue a little bit more on there. I am, a, you know, a fan of the blue. That is my favorite color. So I'm about to get that about where I want it. And then I'll dry this real quick since I did add so much water to it before I go on and do anything else because I don't want to. To, to get any on my hand or anywhere else. And then I'm adding some more of those trio of dots um, on the page. I don't know what it was about that. Um, it was a different mark for me than I usually done, but it, it was kind of neat in there. I've got a fairly juicy pen that's just a cheap pen from the Dollar Tree. I went around the picture a little bit and then I'm just drawing some little dots, making some little dots. This, this page really was a lot about the mark making. There was a lot of different mark making going on in here. So I added some dots, especially in that brown area up there because it just seems so I don't know barren but with that that page is done I really like this I love the boys in the picture and I hope I did them justice for the fun and frivolity they seem to be having guys if you like this and want to see more from me make sure to subscribe give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment if you have any questions thanks so much for coming by bye